So what's your name and what do you do? I'm Bob Gammer and I'm the Community Relations Manager for the Site C Project. Ah, and uh, what's the Site C Project? So the Site C Project is a hydroelectric dam and generating station that will make about 1100 megawatts of power. That's a, enough power in a year to supply about 500,000 homes. Wow, that's a good number of uh, homes. How much uh, additional electricity does that bring to BC's grid? That increases our capacity of BC Hydro by about 8%. Wow, that's a big chunk actually. And we're electrifying rapidly, so we need all that power, right? Oh, exactly. Yeah, no, this, this fits in well with the electrification goals of the province. And where are we right now? What is this that we're seeing? So what we're looking at is the Site C project. We've got the dam, the generating station, the spillway section. You can see the reservoir. And uh, so this is, this is it. This is where we generate 1,200 megawatts of clean energy, a hydroelectric powered by water. Wow. And so the reservoir has already been filled up. That's right. The reservoir was filled last fall. And so we've been generating since uh, late October we now have four of our six units that will be installed. Four are running right now. And when is it going to be fully operational? We hope to have all of the units in service uh, by the end of the year, maybe even sooner, in uh, late summer into the fall. So hydroelectric dams, they last for a long time, hey? That's right. Uh, we say that this is built to last 100 years, and with care careful maintenance, this will last indefinitely. And I think I keep hearing is that the technology used to generate electricity is constantly getting more efficient, more effective, um, more environmentally sustainable. Can you tell me a little bit about how this dam differs from previous ones that BC Hydro has built? That's right. So we took uh, learnings from our older facilities and made changes to Site C. Uh, one of the things we call it is safety by design. So uh, much safer for workers to work in confined spaces. We're reducing those confined spaces uh, so that way jobs can be done more efficiently and certainly more safely. Mm -hmm. And the actual machinery, um, is this standard around the world? Is it custom built for BC Hydro? It's custom built. Every project is unique. Certainly um, with the uh, uh, addition of computer design technology, uh, we can make these units much more efficient than the designs from back in the 1960s that you would see at the WAC Bennett Dam upstream. But even there, uh, innovations have helped to make those units more efficient. But the, this is the state of the art here at Site C. Incredible. And you mentioned uh, safety for workers. Um, how many workers did you have at peak building this? At peak, we had 6,000 workers on the project overall, uh, probably about 3,500 uh, at peak on site right here. Other sites, other workers, so uh, upstream where we were having building, uh, building bridges and realigning highway and boat ramps. And so, yeah, there's a lot that went into Site C, more than just right here at the dam. Uh, but yeah, we had a workforce uh, that grew uh, from, you know, the starting in 2015 up to peaking at 6,000 in 2023. Uh, Currently, we're down about three quarters of that as we are in the final stretches of this project. We expect we should finish this year. And uh, so right now we've got about 1,500 workers remaining. Oh, and uh, when the dam is fully built and operational, how many workers will be on it? We expect that we'll have a workforce around 30, maybe 40 uh, at site here. Yeah, it's really it's, uh, it is very efficient. Yeah, it also makes use of uh, workers elsewhere. Uh, the other two dams upstream, um, the workforce uh, all can work together, uh, specialized skills. People can just drive down the highway and, and help out here when needed. Oh, that's an interconnected region. Uh, in terms of um, where are all these up to 6,000 at a time workers came from, uh, how many of them were local versus from mm -hmm. other parts of the country? So uh, about up to a quarter of the workers during the project lifespan were from uh, the Peace River Regional District here. So the Fort St. John area and, you know, Dawson Creek and uh, Tumbler Ridge and, and anyway, in this region. Uh, also uh, about 80%, 66 to about 80% of the workers through the 10 years here have been from British Columbia, and then the rest from Canada. That's a lot of you know, varied skill sets that have to go into it. Um, what are the types of careers um, that people who were employed in the construction of Site C uh, have, uh, for all the way from construction to engineers, I imagine, but are there things that people probably wouldn't realize are involved in building a project of this size? 
uh, uh, you know, many things you would probably anticipate. Um, site C is a lot of earth moving, as you can tell when you walk around the site here. You've got a 15 and a half million cubic meters of earth fill material that form the dam. Where we're standing now on this slope, 11 million cubic meters of material was removed so that this slope would have a better, more stable angle. So a lot of that, uh, you know, kind of uh, truck driving, excavator, operators, and uh, but then in the in the dam, yes, uh, you're looking at electricians um, and uh, you're looking at pipe fitters, welders, uh, so uh, people who um, pour concrete, uh, you know, and, and uh, so it just goes on. There's a, there is a long list of skills uh, that were required in the, um, in the building of the facility. And probably a lot of people who had this as their first major project of this kind too. So now you have a skilled up workforce that's ready for future work. That's right. Uh, we, we definitely have, you know, a lot of the seasoned workers that came here, but yes, a lot of new workers. This is their first big project and uh, they can take those skills and move anywhere else in the country. Um, it doesn't have to be building a hydroelectric facility, uh, but uh, those skills, you know, uh, can translate into a lot of different things. Tell me a little bit about the composition of the workforce. Um, you know, uh, there's been a lot of work by mm. many levels of government over the last couple of years to advance reconciliation. And we're hearing a lot about opportunities for Indigenous workers, Indigenous owned businesses, contractors. Uh, what does that look like for BC Hydro? So at Site C, we had uh, Indigenous workers uh, that um, topped uh, at times 10% uh, of the total workforce, over 600 workers. Uh, we've got um, some Indigenous nations who have contracts, uh, such as Soto uh, First Nations. They have the security contract on site. So when we came through the gate, uh, I noticed, yeah. Yeah, you met, you met uh, Soto employees because uh, that's their contract. So yeah, we did provide those opportunities. We wanted to ensure that uh, there were good uh, work opportunities all around. Like I say, we had up to 25% of the local workforce, um, sorry, uh, the, the total project workforce was local, 25%. So that's, that's really impressive. That's great. And tell me a little bit more about the engineering and the, the planning. Um, how long ago was Site C scoped out? So initially back in the 1950s. So it's got a long history. It's been on the books. And uh, so it uh, though has had a couple of uh, uh, pushes to, to move into construction. Uh, the Utilities Commission um, at the time uh, said no, uh, there wasn't a need for the energy back in the 1980s. Uh, and uh, so now about it's getting close to 20 years ago, uh, people in government were starting to ask, is that the time to look at Site C again? And so um, eventually a case was made. And so uh, construction began in 2015. Uh, so after you know a lot of review and environmental uh, approval, both from the federal and provincial governments, um, that was uh, secured in 2014, and then construction started in 2015. Wow! And relative to when the project uh, was first planned to today, um, has the potential for generating capacity changed much, if at all? Yeah, it has. Um, the uh, the number that was used at first was 900 megawatts of uh, potential capacity here. Um, and so today uh, we say that it generates 11, or will when all the units are in place, 1100 megawatts. So yeah, uh, uh, quite a sizable increase. Absolutely. And are the lessons that uh, Hydro is learning from this going to be applied uh, to any improvements or um, further additions to existing infrastructure elsewhere in the system? Well, we're, we're always looking to make our system more efficient. Um, and uh, it's certainly uh, more cost effective to uh, try and improve what you have than to build something completely new. So uh, we could see small incremental gains from uh, say the WAC Bennett Dam, uh, the GM Shrum generating station there. Uh, we could see in future years uh, some capacity increase, yeah.